you matter this is exactly the cry and belief of the universal church in this synod on synodality did you know that in october 2021 the entire church entered into a synod pope francis opened the synod in rome and every diocese across the whole world was called to celebrate the opening of the synod at the local level the theme for this synod is for a synodal church communion participation and mission don't worry if you've missed the beginning we are here to help you catch up because this synod is going to be unlike any other from 2021 to 2023 it will be a journey of sharing reflecting and listening at all levels across the entire church but hold on let's not get ahead of ourselves let us first understand what is a synod a synod is a gathering traditionally of bishops the word synod comes from the greek synhodos meaning the same way or the same path synods were very common in the first centuries giving bishops the opportunity to meet and discuss issues of importance for the life of the church the institution of the synod of bishops was established by paul the 6th on september 15 1965 in keeping with the request of the fathers of the second vatican council to maintain the collegial spirit fostered by the council since then synods have been organized every 2 or 3 years bringing together bishops experts and various delegates to discuss different topics in each case bishops vote on a final document then the pope writes his own text called an apostolic exhortation to open new pathways and shed new light on what was discussed at the synod so that it can radiate across the entire church so what is synodality synodality is about journeying together this happens through listening to one another in order to hear what god is saying to all of us it is realizing that the holy spirit can speak through anyone to help us walk forward together on our journey as the people of god the point is not that we take 2 years to understand some new buzzword that will soon fade synodality is no passing phase it is a call to be a new way of being church in other words it is walking together the very heart of what the church is all about saint john chrysostom said that for him church and synod were synonyms since the church is all about walking together in this sense synodality is a way of renewing the church from her deepest roots in order to be more united with one another and better carry out our mission in the world in simpler terms a synodal church is a church that listens as pope francis stated in the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the institution of the synod of bishops it is a mutual listening in which everyone has something to learn the lay faithful the bishops the pope all listening to one another and all listening to the holy spirit the spirit of truth in order to know what he is saying to the church what's special about this synod on synodality this synod is totally unprecedented for at least 3 reasons It is no longer only a one month synod of bishops but a two year synodal process for the entire people of God all the baptized all are invited and no one is to be left behind or excluded it is a synod that aims on giving the entire church a lived experience of synodality it's not just about filling in a questionnaire but gathering the fruits of what the holy spirit is saying to us here and now the aim of the synod is not just to talk about synodality but to put synodality into practice starting now in every diocese parish and country across the whole world this calls all of us at every level of the church to renew our way of being and working together moving forward 
So what can you do? Find out what's going on in your diocese and your parish to experience the synod at a local level. Each diocese is called to facilitate local synodal meetings to involve all the faithful in this journey undertaken by the entire church. Since the entire purpose of the synod is to listen to everyone, even children, trusting that the Holy Spirit can speak through anyone, let's start by truly listening to each other especially those who are in the margins of our churches, who are forgotten, ignored or not listened to. If you are an elder or a person in position, listen to those in your care. If you are a parent, hear what your children are trying to communicate to you. If you are a priest, pay attention to what your parishioners are voicing. If you are a superior in your community, listen to what the young ones are struggling with. Remember, if you want to be heard, you must also be willing to listen. And finally, pray for the whole church. Ask the Holy Spirit to inspire and lead us in this beautiful journey.